All right, Josh Smith here at Flat Five, and I wanted to do a quick and dirty video this week, and I've been getting a lot of questions about my tune, Skunk Tree, for some reason, which is on the Still album. If you don't have the Still album, please pick it up. It's my more jazzy record. It features Lamar Carter on drums and Tim LaFave on upright bass. I'm proud of that record, and hopefully you've heard it. But Skunk Tree is one of the more interesting tunes on the record. It's kind of got this country meets jazz vibe, like a mix of Danny Gatton and John Schofield with maybe even a little New Orleans and gospel feel. So I love the tune because it springs from a classic country blues open C riff like this. <laughs> Basically, I'm playing a C arpeggio, but I'm plucking it hybrid pick. And then I'm playing from D to E flat, and instead of playing E here, I'm playing open E to get that ringing sound and that dissonance. That's some country blues stuff, and obviously I love that that E and the E flat especially over that C chord. It's just such a beautiful thing, especially with the Leslie on. So the tune goes between the one and the six minor. So we're going from C to A minor, and it has that same lick each time, but a different melody. So it's kind of like. <laughs> So that's the main part of the verse, C to A minor, back and forth. Um, the A minor lick is a little more melodic. The B section of the verse starts on the four chord, F, and I'm kind of hammering on a major triad, and I'm hammering on the, the third. So I'm playing from uh, open G to an A. It's only half a bar. It goes right from the four to the five, G, where it plays the same figure, but without the open string. Yeah, I love that kind of sound. And back to the one. It plays that little walk up, you know, double stop lick. To me, that's kind of a piano lick. And it goes back again to the four. And it goes down to a dominant three. E7. And then back to C again. Back to the four. And then four over five. Which is an F with a G in the bass. So here's the whole B section. And back into the verse. Then it goes to the bridge which also starts on the four chord, but it goes from four to four minor. So I'm gonna come out of a verse feel and play the bridge. So there we've got F, F minor, and a little blues lick at the end of C there. Then we go to A flat, B flat, so flat seven, A flat, B flat, and then a C lick. Here's the whole bridge.
then comes the solo, and I really just play over that C to A minor and highlight the changes in chord tones. And then I call the B sections, kind of that F to G thing. But mostly it's just C to A minor where I'm spelling out the chord. <laughs> Kind of stuff like that, you know, just making my way through the changes and playing things. It's such a fun tune to play over. And I just wanted to show the main sections of the tune because I get a lot of questions about it. Uh, at the end, I play this little repeating figure, which is a kind of a pedal steel thing that you may have heard me play before in improvisation. I just like it. So we made it a part. It goes like this because it's also just C to A minor, but I'm going... <laughs> I just love that pedal steel lick. That's kind of how it goes. So if you've never heard the tune, please go pick up Still and grab a copy and listen to Skunk Tree. And I'd love to see you play it. So go ahead and play some Skunk Tree if you feel like it, if you dig the tune. It's really fun to play over. Um, and yeah, I just figured instead of answering a ton of questions about it for some reason that I've been getting lately this week, I'd just make a video. So there you go. All right, if you're not a ruler yet, become one or at least subscribe to the channel. All right, ruling. <laughs>